there, welcome to today's show. Now, what I'm going to do for you today is show you how to debone and stuff a chicken. I thought this might be a nice alternative for Christmas. A lot of people don't like turkey meat. They also don't like working with the large bird. And chicken actually is a favorite of many, many people. Now, the deboning itself, I have created a separate video. So you'll need to come back to the website to have a look at that, uh, blackbookcooking.com. And what I've got for you now, as you can see here, is the deboned bird. Now, you can see I've taken out the entire center um, of the carcass itself. And what we have is just the breast meat. It's still all intact, all of the skin down through the center and the wings and the uh, drumsticks as well. So I've had it sitting in the fridge in uh, this bowl, so I'm just going to remove that now. And I'm going to show you how simple and easy this is to do. Now, you will need to make your stuffing for this is going to need to be in the food processor. And the reason for that is we actually need it to hold its shape because it's literally going to replace the uh, entire carcass, the center carcass of our chicken. And uh, so what I've done is I've already pre-made that. You can come back to the website as well and see how to make the basic stuffing and then how to actually uh, add those cooked ingredients into the food processor, add your egg and hold it to bind together. So this is the stuffing that I've made and I'm working with um, a pork mince and it has pistachio and mushrooms in it. So all we're going to do is take the stuffing and mould it. And we're going to just pack it in to the centre of our bird. The great thing about this is that once you've stuffed the bird and you've cooked it, it's very easy to slice and everybody gets a little bit of the stuffing and uh, a little bit of the meat as well. It goes quite a long way. So pack it in, try to emulate what the carcass looked like with your stuffing. Okay, and you'll need to just do a bit of a trial and error to see how far you can go, how much more you might need. Now that's going to be just about right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to stitch him up. Now this can be done with uh, a number of different things. You can use a very big darning needle and use just some kitchen twine. I just tend to use cotton ordinary thread that you wouldn't normally sew with and uh, a normal needle. Now uh, if you've got an embroidery needle or a darning needle you'll find it a little easier. It's certainly easier to thread. Uh, I can't thread it without a threader anymore but I'm just using good old plain cotton. We are going to remove that before we slice it up and serve it so it's not going to be uh, too much of a worry what it is and I don't particularly worry what colour it is either. So let me just wipe my hands so that I can easily manipulate this and just taking your um, needle and thread, and I've just doubled my cotton, uh, as you can see here, and um, all we're going to do is we're going to start down this end, and we're going to start to stitch him up. So be as rough as you like this. It does not have to look fabulous. Uh, I'm sure that people will absolutely love it, so don't, um, don't worry too much. And if it's your first attempt, then just um, bear with it. and work your way down the bird just doing a good old top stitch. That's what I usually do and it works fine. When you get to about a third of the way, do a double stitch to hold all of that in place. Keep it nice and firm and then continue. So continue stitching right to the very end and just make sure that at the end you do a really tight stitch so that it stays together. Now you will get some expansion of the stuffing, so some of it may in fact ooze out and some of that stitching at the end may break. Don't worry too much about that, it will hold together enough for you to be able to carve it. Now lift the chicken into a baking dish and you can either place it directly on the base of the baking dish or you can place it on a wire rack inside the dish, depending on whether or not you're going to put stock or wine underneath it and use that to make your gravy. Once it's in the baking dish, just mould the stuffing inside the skin so that it has a bit of a resemblance to that original shape of the carcass bone. And then take a little bit of kitchen twine and tie the drumsticks together to also assist in keeping the shape while it's cooking. Now you can coat the chicken in whatever you'd like, but a little bit of olive oil is usually all that's required with maybe just some herbs and spices of your choice if you want to. Remembering you've got a stuffing, so don't go too overbearing with all sorts of flavors on the top. I usually find just a good sprinkling of flake salt is all that's enough, and that's usually my preference. Now the cooking time will be determined by the size of the bird itself and also the amount of stuffing you're working with. But all of the cooking charts can be found on blackbookcooking.com, so come back to the website and, uh, and have a look at those. 
So there you have it, very, very simple and easy. For those of you who don't want to do an entire turkey, you can debone and stuff a chicken instead. You can do the same thing with a turkey if you can manually do it yourself, then go down that track. If not, there are a lot of people, a lot of butchers out there that will actually do it for you. But the advantage of deboning and stuffing it means that you get rid of all of that carcass, and you've got all that lovely stuffing inside, and as you see now, when we slice it up, you will get uh, all that beautiful meat as well. So come back to the website for the rest of the recipes from today. Uh, as well as a whole host of other hints and tips, blackbookcooking.com and of course you'll see uh, uh, lots of other videos for Christmas cooking as well. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to come to Twitter and Facebook as well. I'd love to connect with you there and I will look forward to seeing you again next time. I'm Victoria Hanson.